What is up everyone? It's Lee here from Boother Tools. I'm here at the party rental shop. We're getting a photo booth ready uh, to send out to the mail today. And I need to put a custom, uh, a custom transparent logo that will appear on all the photos that we'll send to the guests. This is a digital photo booth, a uh, DIY photo booth that we've built. This photo booth here, it's our custom photo booth build, right? So we actually CNC these builds and uh, we sell them online, you can buy them, but that's irrelevant right now because you have a photo booth and it should have a touch screen, uh, a camera and a flash on it, right? And if it's running DSLR booth, which this one is, it's a Surface Pro 3, it's just a Windows computer. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna teach you how to put the transparent logo uh, onto the digital copy that sends to the guests at the photo booth event. Okay, so for me, I get the client to design the image because it's their logo. I'm not gonna try and mess around trying to design something for them or else they're gonna come back 150 times with edits and uh, I don't do that anymore. So it's like, hey, if you have your logo design, please email it to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the email, uh, I forward it to the email that goes onto this computer for the photo booth and we're just going to upload uh, the PNG that they sent to us and apply it into the settings of the photo booth for this particular, uh, photo for this particular client's photo booth session okay so when your photo booth starts up you just want to boot up your photo booth program but you also want to email yourself to a safe email uh the transparent graphic that you're using transparent graphic is a png graphic that means that you can have like a logo but then it will be uh, see-through for everything that the logo is not so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start up Microsoft Edge and uh, we've emailed ourselves the photo, so we're just going to upload the image onto the photo booth computer. Okay, so we'll click on Microsoft Edge and we'll go into our email and we will download it. So that's their nice logo that they've created. So let's open the file and take it and just drag it onto the desktop. Okay, so we click into template and then we want to import an image, so image. Okay, so it's soon to be ashy, so we'll just double click that. And bam, it's right there. You can move it, but see sometimes when you try and move it, it's hard to click, and then you move your photo around. So we have to press undo so that it undoes that, but we can click on the actual photo here, and then we can just move it over here. So we'll go position, and we'll go one see that takes it way over there I just pushed it and dragged it over to the corner and then we can open photo booth now all you have to do is just uh, run it through its photos and it should be there so uh, our photo booth is ready so I'm gonna go ship this bad boy off because uh, customers are waiting Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to apply a logo, uh, a logo image onto your digital photo booth print. Boother Tools out.